Listen up, Alexi. No one goes in or out. Next shift is in three hours. Move it, people! Establish the perimeter! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! No one's allowed to go in or out of there! Let's go! Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, barricade that here. area. All right, I got this side. Okay. They're locking us down here. That's good, then. But this makes it even scarier. Nina. Please don't! Don't come near me! You're contagious, but I don't want to. I'm not ready. Will you please calm down? No. Why did you lock us down? We need to call someone. They can't just leave all of us locked in here to die. Or can they? They'll wait until we all die in here. Then they'll sterilize the place, right? <laughs> That's it. Just like nothing ever happened. You're a nurse, Nina. And so what? I didn't work here just to die for that crappy salary. Do I make myself clear? I'm a nurse here. I'm not suicidal. You hear me? Doctor! I work here as a nurse. I'm not suicidal! Doctor! Anybody! What's wrong with him? He suddenly started convulsing. <laughs> There, there. You'll feel better now. It'll be all right. You'll be just fine. It's all right, baby. Mommy's here, okay? Recover in with solution! Nina! All right, then. Hold on. Where are you going? My kids are in there. We can't go there! But my kids are in there! Listen to me! Take your hands off that door! Please, Maria, it's just a little girl! I don't care! They Listen need to me! Help inside. us on the get way! Get hands off Please, me. just calm down! If you get infected, the girls will be left without a mother! Is that what you want? Let's get out of here. Is the boy convulsing? Yes, terribly. That's not all the symptoms. Four out of five. Roman got infected as well. So I guess I am too. Don't say that. And why not? Am I immune or something? I just find this amusing. We haven't cleared anything yet. But I don't like that you're without a doctor. Hey, hey, you! Where are you going? You can't go in there! Get off me! Are you okay? Stop and stay where you are! Seriously, dude? My wife and mother are at home. You know that? Go back inside, man. Or I'll shoot you. I have my orders. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? I'll count to three. One! Fine. Take it easy, man. And close the window! You're letting the infection spread. Take it easy, all right? My wife and my mom are at home. They're waiting. All the more reason not to be selfish. Do you want to infect them? I never thought I'd die like this. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm sorry, Doc. Thank you. Just go. I'm sorry. That was some long distance running. Damn it. I fell harder than I thought. Is it that bad? I don't know. My fingers seem to be moving. 
Should I call Nina? That won't help. I'll just wear a splint and douse it with something. Anyway, we just have to take her with us. And as for him, let's just decide on the spot. you worked with them. Can you trust them? I had Komarov deal with this stuff when he was still alive. Good thing I still have their contacts. You want me to go? She's your wife after all. <laughs> so you don't think I can do it? I always doubt when emotions are concerned. Natalia, not in this instance. Now we're here too. Me, Salon, you, office. Hello, laboratory. This is Yana from Pulmonology Department. We're waiting for Zalbakina's results. Sure, please look for it. Mm-hmm. Sure, I'll wait. Yana? Yes? Have you checked on Aleptina? Her condition seems to be relatively stable. But for the prognosis, yes? You've sent it already? Good, I'll check. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. They're finally here. We also have more blood work, mm-hmm. Lucas' size are elevated. Neutrophils too. So it's bacterial, not viral. Yeah, but we're not clear on which one. So we'll issue everything possible. Antibiotics, broad spectrum. For Aleftina? That's right. What about rifampicin? But why? It's a strong antibacterial. It even tackles tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. We have pneumonia. Um, I don't know, but my gut says you should try rifampicin. Dr. Valokashin, I understand that you are the future star of neurosurgery. <sighs> But I don't mess with your brain, so stay out of my lungs. Rifampicin's harsh. It affects the liver. It's used for leprosy, tuberculosis. And we need to cover as many options as possible. Therefore, antibiotics. I'll prescribe it then. Thank you, Yana. Anna. Not now, please. Yana, I'm sorry. <sighs> Maybe at least... Fluoroquine alone? I don't get it. Do you have a personal grudge against antibiotics? Or maybe me? Well, no. That's good to know. Are you happy now? Anna's daughter got infected with Legionella. And it is our fault. How do you know that? Are you kidding me? Two cases of pneumonia in the same ward. You think it's a coincidence? Well, of course it is. As for her daughter, I know she hasn't been tested for Legionella yet because I didn't order it. The bacteria would have killed her at that time. Our doctors working here stupid? They know it's bacterial and prescribe broad spectrum antibiotics, like cephalosporins. Cephalosporins will not work. It has to be rifampicin. They won't even test for Legionella if you don't order them to. I'm afraid that it's all because of your humidifiers. What makes you say that? Vika's ward had one. Anna's daughter had it too. Where did you get them? What are you talking about? First of all, I was following Ministry's orders. I didn't buy them. Second, they're clean. And third, it was you and your Lydia who operated on a man who later died of Legionella. A little girl could possibly die. Dr. Fetisov, I need to tell them. But you came to me. Not to them. So why? Hmm? To ask for my permission? I doubt that. You, Mr. Artyom, came here so I could talk you out of it. You just came here to ease your conscience. The department is almost yours. What's the matter? Can you handle cases carefully and bring people to the right conclusion? I 
won't let you in. You let me in because you have to. Do you want to get infected too? I'm well protected. Open up. No. I'm about to break this door down. Come on, open up. Roman got hurt real bad. Well, now I'm here. What do you mean two days of tests? Seriously? Listen, I have people confined in a small space in here. You do realize that I can't move them to different wards without your authorization, right? Yeah, we're quarantined. Some of them are not infected, so you... Hello? <sighs> we're locked here and forgotten. As per usual, just like in Chernobyl, like... And there's nothing you can do about it, am I right? Yes, I can. I can keep the infection from spreading, that's the most important thing right now. Not for me. Do you have kids? No. Well, that explains a lot. You know, if anything happens to both of my daughters, I'll kill you. I swear it to you. Got that? to apologize. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Okay, that's enough. Put them on another electrolyte drip. They're dehydrating quickly. Why aren't you treating them? Water is not a cure. It helps them. It's what keeps them going. They're getting worse. Their symptoms are escalating. Why did the boy get sick first? The father was the one who brought the virus. You're right. Something's off. What were the boy's symptoms? I said an onset of fever. At first I thought... meningitis. He had a headache, neck muscle pain, vomiting, abdominal pain, then diarrhea. The father was coughing. But... No one's cuffing now. <clears throat> so, what do you mean? Marburg virus doesn't cause abdominal pain. Nina, I need you to prepare a drip. Should be electrolytes with extra glucose. Mm. At least for the first few days. Did you read something off Wikipedia? You're not a virologist. Neither are you. And that's why we're here waiting for them and the test results. Good afternoon. Mr. Nikolai, I'd like you to spare me one minute of your time. Please get in the car. <laughs> I'd much rather have a public meeting place than this car of yours. Hypothetically, this is just a hypothetical question. What happens if my lovely ex-wife turns up to be alive and well? Well, I don't get it. I mean, that's not even hypothetically possible. I don't care. Just answer it. Well, if the court declares her to be Violeta Aristova, 
Then, of course, she will be entitled to all her property rights. If she is out of mind, of course. And what if she's incapacitated? She'll still be entitled to it, but she'll have a guardian appointed by the court. Like who? Mother or sister? You. You're her closest relative. Thus, you will be the guardian. By the way, why do you ask? Huh? It's nothing. Rather, let's talk about your responsibility to keep this conversation quiet. You know I won't talk. Neither will I. But you've already lied to me once. Would you like me to tell you what will happen if you try to deceive me for the second time? Dr. Shulgin, may I sleep now? Go ahead, Nina, of course. Thank you. You're crazy. Put it back on. It's too late. Please, put it on. Quiet, they're sleeping. Do you know you're already infected? It's a construction suit. It's not even the right mask. If this is Marburg, I've already been affected. You're such a liar. Mm hmm Maybe it's nothing, just like you said. I may be wrong. I'm going to sleep then. Have a good night. Hello, Mom. Listen, you have to leave this town ASAP. I can't explain now. Just leave quickly, understand? I'll explain later, because it's still classified. All right, I'll call you. Love you. Okay, bye. Does your arm hurt? I just sprained it. And your ribs? No. What about your stomach? I'm fine, Tatiana. I'm fine. Are you okay? Me? I'm... I'm scared. Hey... Don't be. You're not allowed to worry. How could I not be worried? I can't leave you alone in there. You'd get infected. Oh well. It's better me. Than you. <laughs> you two. What do you mean? Well... You're not alone in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Silly girl. What for? The boy? Mm-hmm. Awesome. 
Tell me everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Why wouldn't it be? A case for declaring a person incapacitated by mental disorder may be instituted in the court of law. Right, based on a statement of, well, of a close relative. In this case, the guardianship agreement must specify the composition of the ward's entirement property in respect of which... Just cleaning it so she could be out of our lives as soon as possible. Our life? I like the sound of that. Ah, uh, are you excited? Do you want me to bring you her heart in a lunchbox? <laughs> you need an alibi. I have one. I was with a woman for several days in a row and we were in bed the whole time. Who's that woman? I can't reveal her identity, but she's incredible. Is she beautiful? Very. And sexy? Yes. <laughs> She's a queen. <laughs> Let me give you a quick check, okay? Mm -hmm. Will you cuff for me, please? Mm -hmm. All right, sweetie, that's enough. You can stop cuffing now. You don't have to anymore. A glass of water, will you please? <coughs> Sit up, sweetie. <coughs> Some water, please. <coughs> Here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Okay, lie down now. Okay, here's your mask. Mm -hmm. Now breathe. Go get some rest. I'll talk with the doctor and come back, all right? Well then, oxygen saturation is dropping. Antibiotics aren't working. No. It should have gotten better overnight, but it still hasn't. It's bad we don't know what's wrong with her. Her cardiologist said that she can't take any other ventilator. What else can we do? She won't be able to breathe. If we don't treat her, We don't she know will... what's wrong. It's the 21st century and we don't even know. Yes, we do. Anna. It's Legionella. She got infected like my patient. The lab is going to confirm it, so start on rifampicin and fluoroquine alone. Tell me what you know. Anna. Archum, tell me what you know, please! <coughs> better soon. Hold it like this. Uncle Evgeny, please call my mom. They're not saying anything. We were told to stay in quarantine and wait for new instructions. Okay, I understand. But I still don't know the diagnosis. We decided on Marburg. Where's the hemorrhagic rash? The sore throat? Right. Now let's pretend for a second that we don't know anything about this rare virus. I wish I could. Okay, patient age 8. He's complaining of headache, abdominal pain, muscle pain, and nausea. His temperature is 40. Diarrhea. Ruled out appendicitis, meningitis. The first thing that comes to mind? I'd say it's viral gastroenteritis. One after another, and that infectious. Just hold on. Think hard. What have they eaten in the last 24 hours that you haven't? Um, well, we had breakfast together, then they ate grilled meat on the road, and I ate grilled vegetables, but I took them off the fire myself. You washed your hands? Of course, with soap. You don't eat meat? No. I actually prefer the healthy lifestyle, mm. but I just can't get them to do it. So how are you feeling? No symptoms? Nothing? Are you healthy? Well, I think so. You know that it's just a matter of time. Sonia! Huh? Yes? What is it, honey? 
It could be Marburg. But then why is it that his wife isn't sick? Or maybe it's just a really bad meat. Maybe some kind of sauce? They had some eggs. Turned out my mom gave them soft-boiled eggs. I had no idea. The symptoms look like salmonella. Then it's curable. I didn't need it. Neither did I. But I have symptoms. He got sick a couple of hours after they arrived. The rest of us are fine. Maybe it's just a coincidence and you have something else. What do we do now? Antibiotics? Nobody's getting antibiotics until we know it's salmonella and not a virus. Just continue rehydrating the patients and add gastric lavage. Now, is there anything left of the egg, shells, like anything at all? I need to know. This has nothing to do with you, so could you just please step away? Stop! Stop! Just relax. I'm not from there. What do you mean, not from there? You're all contagious. Now get back in there. I'm not contagious. I'm the head doctor. You're lying. Go back. I've had no contact with sick people, okay? I need to get to that car so I can get some samples for testing. I don't care. I have my orders. Nobody in, nobody out. Now get back in the building. What's your name? Alexei. Well, it's... I am... Alexei Volovev. Sergeant. Alexei, please, I'm begging you. I'm not going anywhere, believe me. I just need to take a sample from this car to check. They need it. You can take them yourself. All right, then. I can. But could you please just go back inside? All right. So what do you need? There's a food container with eggs in it. Please, give it to me because I need to take them to the laboratory. All right, fine. You can get it yourself. Well, what can we do? Close our eyes and do nothing? We have people in intensive care and not just Aleptina. I'm talking about others. And that bastard decided to make some money. Here. Whoa. This is all for recycling? Here you go. Now we have to locate the machine that was placed in the ward of the first affected patient. Listen, Mr. Nikolai, placing the entire department in quarantine. Forgive me, but that's an overreaction. Come in. Dr. Semyonov, I'm going to sue you. It's despicable and cruel. You knew everything and said nothing. You would have wasted even more time, time which my girl doesn't have. How's Olivdina? Still sick. From the damage and disease caused because of this person. This person is your immediate supervisor. The humidifier. It was placed in the patient's room. It's there when she died from Legionella. Presumably. Dr. Fedisov personally took it out of the room and sent it to recycling so that no one could analyze it. We want to test it. Confirm that it's contaminated. <laughs> and then we need to test the rest of them. My colleagues, you're paranoid. Uh-huh. Negligence. Patient abandonment, intentionally causing harm to the patients. Now tell me, is your own ass more important than the life of a child? You knew the equipment was contaminated. What am I supposed to tell you? It just broke, that's all. And you even deleted the test results from the database. You are crossing the line here. Sir, who are you going to listen to? To my best anesthesiologist. No, it's a distraught woman who is terrified for her child. All right, then. Dr. Yegorov, take this humidifier to the laboratory immediately and have it tested. You're suspended, Dr. Fedisov. I'm what? You're suspended. Are you sure about that, Dr. Semyonov? Please remember this. I don't care about your connections or your high-ranking influential friends. If God forbid, what Miss Anna accused you of turns out to be true. You're never gonna get away with it. Likewise. Same to you. <sighs> Thank you, Dr. Semyonov.
Well, hello. It turned out to really be Salmonella. Nina! Mom! Mom! Mommy! Oh, my baby! <laughs> I was so scared! Thank goodness! Oh, does it hurt? Don't worry, I'm fine. So what's wrong with you? Marburg? <laughs> I just realized... When I was still in college, I lost about 12 kilograms. Everybody thought I was sick, but it was just... <clears throat> what? <laughs> well, I have a weak stomach. Is that how you react to stress? Yeah, oh, you poor so. thing. So, uh, where's Violetta and Pavel? <sighs> they went somewhere, I don't know. I see. Hey there. You forgot your book. You even made a bookmark. Let's go. Do we have to go? You're so funny. You make me laugh. <laughs> Pavel, don't be mad at me, okay? You see, I can be rather unpleasant at times. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no picnic either, you know that. Yeah. And thanks for keeping Tatiana out of quarantine. You see, she's now pregnant with our baby. Really? Really. Congratulations. That's great. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you. Come thank on. You. Good luck. You're gonna need it too. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Be safe, okay? Thank you. Thank Bye you. Bye now. How much longer? More or less two hours. One and a half. Want an apple? Ah, an axe, huh? If you want to kill Kennedy, I can do it for you. No, thank you. I'll just wait for the lab to give me the Legionella results. Then I'll fire the jackass myself. Ah, what about his connection at the Ministry? She'll thank me for not involving the Prosecutor. Believe me, I don't even remember signing any contract, approving orders for those damn humidifiers. It was a blank slate. That's not what you were thinking. 
Yeah. Problem is I'm always thinking the wrong thing. The lions can notice that the Alpha's already old, so they start attacking. Good thing that we're humans and not lions then. You know, I offered to help you through this for a long time now, right? The pain of loss is a process, not a status. You need to live and move past it. But you... All you did was crucify yourself. What does that have to do with it? I'm talking about work here. And you're talking about... A year or two ago. I would have alerted the ministry because of this. What are humidifiers? Oh, come on! And now what? And now... You see? You see? You're stuck in denial again. And it prevents you from working. All I want is to help you. Results just came in. Do you know the difference between you and me? Tell me. I'll be right there. The thing is, I operate on the brain, and you're trying to get into the soul. And it's not working out so well. Alright, colleagues, this unpleasant episode has come to an end. I've just received the results of the lab analysis of the humidifiers, the one you brought here earlier, Dr. Zabalkina, and two others on the floor at random. The results for all those are crystal clear. But what do you mean by that? What is it? Are you hard of hearing? The lab didn't find any pathogenic organisms. But how come? Artem did- It's either a mistake or someone's malicious intent. Besides our laboratory, I also sent samples to, to another lab. And they have the same results. Dr. Fetisov, I believe I need to apologize for earlier. I was harsh with you. Forgive me. Accepted. Nevertheless, Dr. Volokoshin told you about the infection, and you covered it up. Speculation? There's no positive test results for Legionella in the database. But I'm sure they were there. Let's not be rude now. Would you please check the database again, just to be sure? Listen, Dr. Sobalkina, we haven't really found the source of infection yet. It's possible that Dr. Volokoshin's patient came to us already infected, and then what happened, she infected the Levtina. How come, though? They haven't even met. And that is what we need to figure out. In the meantime, we have to quarantine the entire department and disinfect the area. That's all. I'll go ahead and notify the higher-ups. Dr. Yegorov, a word, please. Dr. Zabalkino, I expect your resignation letter by tonight. I won't write anything. In that case, you're going to be receiving two strict reprimands and you'll be on your way to court. You can take my word for it. Even the district clinic won't hire you. Mm-hmm. Asshole. I'm gonna see you through. You'll just wait. There's nowhere you're just going to walk away from here. He promised that Aliftina will remain in her ward until she's fully recovered. And you believe him? Do I have an option? But you're right. Two patients with Legionella can be a coincidence. This isn't a Staphylococcus which can be found in every hospital. Well, I don't care. I really don't. I'm sick and tired of all this.
Svetlana, what color are our ambas? Come again? What's the color of our ambu bags? Uh, they're black. That's it? Well, yeah. No, one of the bags is blue. Remember that was on special with the new ventilator? Yeah, that's it. Mommy, am I pretty? Of course, sweetie. But you don't need this anymore. You're all better. Don't touch that! Mommy, are you crazy? Oh, did I scare you? I actually saw and heard everything. Conversations, hints. The people who came were allegedly from the Ministry, but their faces gave them away. If Melnichenko hadn't brought the documents, I would have just left it. Yeah. If only. <laughs> Those must be the worst words in the world, right? Yeah. We only say, if only. <sighs> if only... The driver that day... Left a minute earlier. Or perhaps later. If he hadn't made it to the stoplight. <laughs> if only I hadn't called. And distracted her. If only they were with me, not in the car. If I hadn't gone to that damn banquet in the first place. <sighs> but there's no if only. There's just a date, August 16. There's no if only. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but did you just say August 16? Yeah. I just remember that day very well. We were getting ready for the opera. I was so excited I even put the tickets on the mirror. Yeah, and then? Then Komarov suddenly showed up that day. <gasps> Pavel! What is it? It's Gorchin. That's his car. Buckle up. Damn it. Pull over! I just want to talk to you! Stop, you bastard! She's my wife! Pavel, no! Pavel! Hold her! Corchin, leave her alone! Shut up, will you? Now open this door. I just want to talk to you. So open the door! Anything. Come out! I said hey, no, don't no. touch her! Keep your mouth shut. No! I'm talking to you. No. Oh. Get your hands take off it, me. Take it easy. What are you doing? Come on, it's me. My God, it's true. You're alive. I remember. You wanted to kill me. 
When I was in a coma, I heard every word that you said. What do you mean, wanted? I still want her. Leave her alone, Corjan! I promised. Understand? I still need you alive. Let's go. Come on. Leave her alone! Leave her, you hear me? Please don't! We can make a deal! Just give me a second, my love. No! Oh, oh come on. What's wrong with you? The man wants to negotiate. Why are no. you being such a bother? Huh? Let me go! Let me go! Alright, follow me. No! Oh. No! 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 Say hi to your wife. Oh, my goodness. Mom! <gasps> Natalia, you scared me! Why are you so jumpy? <sighs> Look at this sweet treat. Our Violetta used to love them. You dug through garbage? You're losing it, Mom. No one else liked them but her. That was me. I was cleaning the kitchen and found them. Violetta forgot them. 
My goodness, Natalia, I'm scared. You know what's bothering me? A person has been gone for long, and yet everything reminds you of them. I just can't. I don't know how to, how to deal with it. I see her everywhere. I look as a child or adult. Mom, calm down. Take it easy. She's gone now. Yes. Yes. It's fine. I'm all right. What do you think I believe in ghosts? I haven't gone to that point. I guess it's just my memories. I'll go back to my room. Why are you awkward like a stranger? <laughs> so this is yours. Try to get comfy. What for? I know you're planning to kill me. That's enough now. Less drama. I hate you! I loathe you! You killed him, you monster! I said enough! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know you two were serious. You surprised me. What's wrong now? We had a different agreement. Or did you remember the past? Feelings, passion, wedding tunes? Maybe you want to sleep with Shut her- Shut up! Shut your mouth up. I don't want to hear a word from you again, all right? You wanted me to kill her and bury her so that you'd get everything she owned. That will never, ever happen. Well, I have a new option now. I will hide her and then reveal to the world that she's still alive. And she's the only living heir of your father and I'm her husband while you're a nobody! I wanted to fool you. Do you hear me? I wanted to fool you, but I couldn't no matter how hard I try. I just couldn't fool you! This is insane. You're the only person who I have no secrets from. And I don't want there to be any between us. This is a first for me in my life. This never happened. Never. So from now on, it won't be how you want it, or how I want it. Only how we want it. We'll get her recognized as mentally ill, and become her guardians. So you found a way for us to actually be together? No. You. It was you who did it.
How's Aleph Tina? She's doing fine, Doctor. Is that all? I... I heard about the Ambu bag. You think mentioning Legionella makes us friends who can do small talk? You almost killed my daughter. If only you didn't back down from your statement back then. Then Gennady would have left. But I'm leaving instead. Anna, he would not have been booted. You wouldn't have been either. Your mother is in the ministry. So what if she is? It matters. Screw it. It's not my problem anymore. I'll give my two weeks notice. You think it'll be better elsewhere? I believe you have surgery. Don't waste time. Mr. Vasily Pronin is waiting. What about you? I got replaced. Good luck to you. Mm -hmm. That's right. We have a patient. Pronin, imagine that. Is he the new presidential advisor? Yes, on human rights. He's a legend. Remember the school hostage situation in 2001? The Children's Cancer Hospital in Salariva was built thanks to him. I am now accessing the area of the arteriovenous malformation. This is very uncomfortable. I don't get how he still walks. All the signs point to him being paralyzed. Look at this, it's covered in the vessels. One wrong incision and he'll be paralyzed or dead. Come on, don't say that now, Dr. Yegorov. Do you understand why they just stopped? Vessels of the malformation wrap the spinal cord a lot worse than can be seen on the angiograms. Yes, it's much worse. And right now, it is difficult to identify which among the vessels in this mess has to be removed first of all. Maybe the dorsal one should not be removed fully, but partially. It isn't aggressive. That's absurd. The vascular node. Bleeding will be very severe. He will die on the spot. Either remove everything or don't touch them. You got it? Hello, Pavel. Hello. So did you get it? What's with you? You look like a bum. After hearing your voice on the phone, I decided to come here and take a look at you. Do you like what you see? What happened to you? Anna. I was beaten down and thrown off a bridge. Korchin took her. I need his address. You need the police for that. For the condition you're in, only the Psychiatric Institute will believe you. Got that? And I'm perfectly fine. I'm still sane. I really am all right. The police will be useless. No one will believe me. I have no evidence, okay? Anna, I need the address. Maybe you should stop. Why do you need this? You have nothing to do with it at all. He's her husband. You cured her. It's over. Pavel, are you serious about this? Thank you.
Hello. Good morning to you, Sunshine. Natalia. You're with him now. In more ways than you expect. What are you thinking, silly, that I'm here to set you free? Now that I have everything I want, your husband and my inheritance. Did mom and dad ever teach you that sharing is caring? Are you going to kill me? <laughs> are you crazy? You're such a silly girl. How could I kill you? You're my ticket. How else will I remember everything I went through? Hey, hey, easy now. Just breathe, relax. Come here, calm down. It's okay. It's all right. You'll be fine. Shh. Just breathe, relax. I'm here, okay? You're fine. Shh. Yes, that's it. That's it. Hmm? You cut your arm like your mom did, right? <laughs> uh, what if we go from the second vertebra and try to bypass all the large vessels on the left side? There's just too many. Why not the seventh? There's less there. What if I nick it? If you plan to do that, you'll hit the anterior spinal artery, then the brain will be left without oxygen. He won't make it. You need to go higher. Did they start? How is it? No, not yet. Maybe a little higher? We will hit the anterior medullary. You're right, I will, but here... If I hook the brain, that's paralysis. He is prone. I know that. Darn it! It's the malformation. It took over. They should have seen it on the angiogram. You're right, they should. We did see it. But once they opened him up, it turned out to be worse. Is that you, Pavel? Is she here? What? She was with you. He took her. He did? <sighs> Where's Korchin? I haven't seen him since yesterday. You don't believe me? Did you set the cameras up? You promised. I always stay true to my word. One in the living room and an audio wire in the office. Nothing suspicious, just business talk. And nothing. He didn't mention any kind of kidnapping. First there was... a man in the cafe. Where we met. Yuri. He had a gun. Oh my, so I was being followed. What happened to you then? Tell me. Nothing. We just got lucky. If I knew about any of this, then I'd be at the police being questioned already. Tell me, where can he be right now? I don't know. He's at work? No, I doubt it. Does he sleep here? Why don't we call him, hmm? Let's call him right now, maybe he can tell us something. Maybe we'll hear something. Maybe we'll get the answers you want. Maybe we'll even hear Violetta. He's not picking up. I'm terrified of him. How could my sister Violetta live with a monster like him? I'm scared that he will do something to my mom. He no longer needs her. Have you told her about Violetta? No. Mom is sick. It will make her feel worse. Maybe 
You really do need to leave for now. It is dangerous here. How can I leave? It will make him suspicious. Besides, I'm ready to risk it all for my sister. She would have done the same for me. You think she's alive? Where could she be? I think so. He seemed to need her. And Melnichenko, did you call him? You haven't called him yet? I tried calling him, but he did not pick up. There's another option. What? Don't worry. You can tell me. Don't worry about it. Pavel. Good luck to you. And there she said that her doctor cannot swim. Well, at least he trusts you. He doesn't trust me. What if there was a wire on him? What if he wasn't alone? I'm sure he will go to the police. That'd be great. Great? What's great about it? I know now how to get rid of him. And that's awesome. Good morning, everyone. Oh, hello there. This can't be. They're still here? Yes, six and a half hours now. And not even a single incision has been made. There might be another way here. Severe the spinal cord and then you can remove the malformation entirely without heavy bleeding. But that... Now, stitch them up. What's this? You just took a look? Do you want to try it yourself? There's the body and the microscope. I'm not Andreev. I won't do it. You can do it if you want. <sighs> Coagulator dissector. Close him up. <clears throat> the tangle looks like this. It's literally like that. All right, I will speak with Pronin myself. I'll explain it to him. Mr. Nikolai. No, I shouldn't have agreed in the first place. I saw that. It will be tough, but turned out to be impossible. Impossible for all of us here. Even for Andrea, this is impossible to do. Yes, that's true. Even he might have failed. Had he been here to try. Dr. Semyonov. Dr. Pavel. You're back for good? You were gone for ages. I didn't know what to think about you. Good. I'm so happy to see uh, you again. Dr. Semyonov, please listen to me. I need you to help me. Please call. I need you to call the police. Why? What for? You'll likely remember our first VIP patient, Aristova, from the 8th floor. So yeah, it was me. I made her look dead. Pavel, you're terrible at giving news. Right. Tell me about it. I put her in an induced coma. Her husband wanted to turn the machines off, not due to the coma. He wanted her to die. And what did you do? Well, I then faked her death. 
How? The body. She was cremated back then. No, it was not her. I managed to make a deal. Are you a moron? Who else knows about this? You couldn't have done it alone. Who helped you on this? Irina? Anna? Dr. Semyonov, no one helped me. No one knew anything. I swear, I need you to understand me. There will be an investigation. I'll be arrested. You will be asked questions. I'm sorry, I know. I should have kept the hospital out of it. No, you're wrong. You shouldn't have done anything at all. We report to the police in cases like that. Is that clear? Or tell me, were you involved with that patient somehow? Speak up now, I'm curious. Do you know her from before? No. First time I ever saw her was here. If I go to the police right now, they can help her. Pavel, you really are a fool, you know that? Shut the door, I'm busy right now. Dr. Pavel Andreev. Yes. I'm Lieutenant Kerbatov. Your hands where I can see them. So that you are aware you are being detained today on suspicion of kidnapping a person. Yes. Yes, yes. I knew all about it. You knew from the start? No. He called me much later because he needed my consultation. He was confused about the medicine and I couldn't refuse to help him. And nothing could have been changed, right? Nothing. No, I couldn't have gone to the police, obviously. But how could I? He's a Pravel. How could I do such a thing to him? You could have told me when you found out. You should have told me. You have no idea how much I wanted to. <laughs> so it turns out you didn't trust me. That's not true. I trust you. Again, I trusted you with my child. But I couldn't burden you with this. So in your own strange way, you protected me? by distrusting me. All right, fine. If I did tell you all about it, what would you have done? I remember you took two days off before. Did you go to see him? When she woke up from a coma, there were some psychological issues that arose. Tell me, was she really being threatened? I believe so, yes. Do you think that he saved her? I don't know. I'm no judge. Anna, either way, just know this. I will always be by your side. Thank you, Evgeny. Nikolai. I'm listening. You asked to tell you when Pronin wakes up. You're in a hunger strike? That is actually very nice of you. You'll die. There'll be less paperwork for me, less problem. I can toss your body into the river. That's exactly what you did to him, right? Forget him already. Do you want to make it out alive? I don't care anymore. That's what you say now. What about in a week's time or in a month? Nothing will ever change. Oh, poor you. I doubt that you just got away and fell in love with him.
Just do one thing for me. Then you're free. Did you kill them? Who? His family. Snap <laughs> out of it. Can you pull yourself together? I'm offering you a way out here. You just need to pretend to be a vegetable. Psychiatrist will deem you to be unfit. When they do, I will be assigned as your guardian. Then I will make it look like you're off to the loony pin. But in reality, you will just leave, go wherever, even in Australia if you like. I will even get you a new name. Just don't get involved in my life ever again. You just want all my money. I'm offering you your life in return. You just need to play your part. If that means I will never see you again, I will do anything it takes. Well, we have a deal. Sit down and don't move. Answer me with a yes or no. Violeta? Dr. Pavel Andreev, he kidnapped you, right? So, you removed Violeta Aristova from the hospital, is that right? She did not mind it. While being in a coma? Were you talking to her telepathically? You can ask her yourself. Where is she? Is she alive? Have you seen her, sir? Who else was involved in the crime? Who helped you? No one, it was just me. I simply know how everything works at the hospital. So it was that easy to fool your colleagues? You didn't declare her death. An injection of barbiturates inhibits the nervous system and blocks the thermoregulatory center in the hypothalamus. Then the body temperature drops to 28 degrees. Pulse almost disappears. It cannot be detected. It is basically a real death. That's smart. I was a good student at college. Others likely worse. Are you and Violetta? Uh, together, so to speak. No. Then I don't understand. You're a strange doctor. Why didn't you inform your colleagues about her brain activity? What's it called? Closed person syndrome? It's locked in. All right, locked in it is. Why'd you take her out of town? I think it is actually simple. You suffered trauma. Then you started to suffer from stress. And now Mr. Korchin found his wife and took her home, and then reported you to us. Sure, that's a lot simpler and clearer. It's logical, that's how I see it. And I simply lost my mind. Am I right? All right then, let's go through this one more time. Mm -hmm. Violetta woke up when she was in the hospital, right? Yes. And is the head doctor, Tatiana Legler, in on this with you? No. She doesn't know anything. I gave her the medicines and I... I got them myself. She was not part of any of this. Mm hmm. All right. <laughs> How are you feeling? You're so funny. You're taking good care of me. You know, this is my first child, so I'm kind of worried. Right. It's some unknown number. Tatiana, look here. You can call them back later. Look. No response. But we will definitely interrogate her. Question Violeta Ristova. She will back me. Why do you have to complicate it? You know, we already spoke to her, and she confirmed everything. Violeta, it's do right you understand there. the question? Yes. Dr. Pavel Andreev, did he kidnap you? He kidnapped me. He kept you against your will away from your family. He kidnapped me. Please answer with yes or no. He kidnapped me. 
He kidnapped me. He, he kidnapped drugged me. her. He kidnapped me. He kidnapped Can you not me. see he that? Kidnapped me. Hey, be quiet. She's been drugged. The doctors already confirmed that she's telling the truth. They've also assessed her mental capabilities. Now then, Mr. Andreev, I hope you understand why your story doesn't add up to us here. Look, his legs. He'll definitely be interested in yoga. I will teach him myself. <laughs> Further than now. Oh, well, look at his hands. Hold on. Go back down a little. No, by the feet, please. Let me. Hold on. A little to the left. All right, just a little bit more. Now right there, a little to the right. Just let me. Oh no. That doesn't look good. Let's go see a specialist. I couldn't continue with the surgery without your personal permission, Mr. Pronin. I apologize for the false hope which I gave you. It was wrong for me to do that. Don't worry. I am used to doctors. Walking up to me and saying that it is hopeless, I get it. Well, in your case, the only chance is for us to sever the spinal cord because that will allow us to remove the tumor. But you will be forever handicapped. So my choices are not great. Either dead or paralyzed. Listen to me. I have a suggestion for you. But it may appear rather strange to you. Dr. Semyonov! Dr. Semyonov! Nikolai! Nikolai! How long do you plan on staying silent? You want me to admit that what I have done is wrong. Pavel is like a son to you for a long time. But he's not a part of you in any way. He wanted to protect you from trouble. That's why he did what he did. Especially knowing the condition you're under. I was quiet. He just thinks that you blame him for the accident. That he should have been there instead. He feels like he should have missed the function. I could too! I'm not angry because of your secret, but because you don't see that I too care about him. <sighs> Irina, I need to go. Yes, you need to go. They showed me the video. It is clear to me that her mind is not her own. But he wanted there to be an investigation. Yes, but... I didn't think it would go this far. So yeah, Dr. Semyonov, I need a lawyer. Hold on. Look here. Look at this first. It's a malformation on the spine of the presidential advisor, Mr. Pronin. If you take this on... How? I'm in here. If you accept this, I think he will be able to at least get you out of here for a while. The tumor has hijacked the circulatory system. There's a ball of vessels there. Well, what do you think? I need a new city scan, selective angiography. 
and 20 hours more or less. That's the minimum. Date and signature. House arrest, huh? Yes. I have no idea who approved this. You may travel within the city limits. Only thing is, you cannot approach Mr. Corchin whilst the investigation is ongoing. Is that clear? Yeah. Ah, oh, sorry, sir. Do you have an appointment? Mr. Corchin is busy right now. Stop! I will call security! Security! Get to the CEO's office right now! Corchin, where is she? I know that you're drugging her. I saw the video. <laughs> Someone's extremely rude. What is it? Psychedelics? What out. drugs? Leave the door, silly. Listen, let's make hey. a deal, you and me. Move out. I will door. do whatever you want, and I will hey, take hey. all the blame. She really got you good, huh? Look at you right now. She's hey. going to lose her mind. You will kill her, you sicko. You already forgot about your wife Let us in. and your poor kid. Move away from the door. I can't believe you moved on so quickly. <laughs> Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Get away from me. Stop it. <laughs> Everything you did was just a complete waste. Get him out of here. Pavel, I'm so happy you agreed to this. Our and Evgeny stood over him for seven hours. They just stood there and stare at him. They couldn't do anything. Don't you worry. We'll manage. Right. I haven't said a word about you. You know nothing at all. We never spoke about my problems. All right. Hmm. By the way, I'm resigning. You too? Anyway, we'll talk later. Thank you for the help. It's the final act. I couldn't let you fight on your own. The diaper is on? <laughs> Standing for 20 hours, obviously. Doctor, are you the one Nikolai mentioned? Good day to you, Mr. Pronin. I like the look in your eyes. Direct. Cowards don't look like you. Listen. I want you to know that if it comes to having to need to cut my spine, do it. I'll manage in the wheelchair, disabled. But at least I'm alive. Okay, we're ready. Mm hmm I'll put the mask on, then you will count from 10 to 0. 10. 9. 8. 7. What's the plan now? I don't know. Let's make dumplings today. It's our day off. Tatiana, let's not pretend, please. That makes it worse. I'm just not ready to give birth to a disabled little boy. He will die either way. We know he won't survive for long. For what? What is the point to it? Be born just to die? I will not bring a tiny human into the world who is destined to suffer. I have no right to do that. Do you understand? I'd rather end it here and now. Well, this was all my fault. All these prenatal psychologists on YouTube, there's responsible conception, it's all crap. I had a simple dream, and it's every woman's dream. To be a mother. It almost happened. You want an abortion? I see the AVM. 
tangles of pathological thin-walled vessels in the subarachnoid space. And now you understand why we didn't- Yes, yes I do. Large adductor arteries. One of which is the anterior spinal cord. We cut it. And spinal shock will occur. Which one is it? It doesn't have a label. Coagulator, please. Don't worry, he knows what he's doing. I don't doubt his skill, but... I know. I spoke to him. He told me a lot of things. He even shared how and what he did to get away from his mental condition. Dr. Andreev? Dr. Andreev? Pavel? Is this mind stable now, though? He has no more hallucinations. And Violetta helped him with that. Ah. Is that right? Good luck, everyone. And to our patient as well. Aspirator. So then, which do I pick? Dr. Yegorov, right or left? Either one could be sustaining the brain. Let's flip a coin? I guess. Let's decide on the left. I'm starting now. Yes, hello? Good day, I'm from the investigation committee. Detective Markovic. Tatiana Legler? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. I would like you to swing by the station tomorrow. Okay, what is this about? You were mentioned as a witness in a kidnapping case. By whom? The suspect, Mr. Pavel Andreev. I'll be expecting you tomorrow at 11. Office 307. Address, the Riverbank Moiki 86. Look for Detective Markovev. I'll be waiting. All right, got it. I understand. Goodbye, sir. Uh, great, thank you. I just knew that it will end up this way. We need to have an abortion. Anna, how's his stats? Intracranial pressure is rising. Blood in the cerebral. Do we flush it? Yes, do it. Propofol, 0.5 milligrams. Flush it again. A little more. Spotted bloody vessel, but it's not a problem, Evgeny. Coagulating. Something's wrong. We're losing the response in the limbs. Is it a subarachnoid bleeding, Doctor? We're not sure. It's possible reaction to ketamine. Losing the response in the limbs. Trying to figure out the cause now. Legs are not responding. He nicked the brain. All right, calm down. I need time. I'll figure it out. No. It's over now.
Violetta? Violetta? My baby girl. Diana? My gosh, you're alive! Let me. I know. I. I. I got the key. Hold on, maybe. A crowbar will do. Wait. Diana, it's pointless. Wait. What? I can't hear what you're saying. I said don't do it, alright? Just leave. They're asleep. So what? Just don't. Minecraft, my goodness, what is this? Why did you give up? You're an Aristova. Mom, he took it all from me. And he killed the man who saved me. What? Who are you on about? Who did he kill? My doctor. Dr. Pavel Andreev. He's alive. I saw him this morning. What? He, he's alive. You hear me? Wait for me, okay? I'll, I'll try to get the what? key. I'll get you out of there. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, Mom! <laughs> Yolanda, oh my god. I can't remember the last time you called me that. Come here. Hurry up, darling, you have to run. What about you? Me? You just think about yourself, I'll manage. Do you have anywhere to go? Do you? Yes, I... Don't tell anybody, not even me. It's safer that way. Well, isn't this cute? Step back, Mom. Natalia. I suggest you listen to her. to act like nothing's wrong. You just had to ruin it. No, it was your doing, right? All those lives and for what? Well, for all of this, for everything in here. Your sister, you don't know what she's like. Mom, why do you always screw things up for me? Why are you talking to me like that? So you meant you'd help her, not me. What is he doing to her? Look into my eyes. Why does it matter what he's doing to her now? She's still the light of your life. 
Answer me, Mom, for crying out loud at your sister in there. <laughs> Mom, is this for real? A lesson in family values? After telling me all my life that I would never compare to my sister, have you lost your mind? What kind of mother would say that to her child? I'd never said that. Seriously? You told me that I am retarded and an imbecile. Because a nine-year-old couldn't solve a math problem, and then six years later, you wouldn't let me hang out with any of my male friends because I'd get myself knocked up. Wasn't that how you put it? I was worried about you. I loved you, but you were so pitiful. You weren't as good as... Ah! You will watch your tongue, Mom. You'll be sorry when he comes. Who? <gasps> that doctor? Of course he's coming. And I'm counting on it. But you won't recognize him. You won't remember who he is. Oh, come on. You wanna cry? Get down. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia, you should be grateful to me. All that I did made you who you are now. You could have just left me. I was busy raising you. I left the loving to your dad. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Opening this wound. So how is it that one moment I have everything with dad, but the next, nothing? How could you do that to me? Deprive me of love? You just love to exaggerate things. Seriously, how did you do it? Is it possible to just stop loving? It is, as you can see. What did you learn about me that made you stop loving me? What could I have done? Didn't I donate my blood to him? <laughs> Listen, my dear, when you generously donated your blood, the secret's already out of the goddamn bag, and then, you know, whew. obviously the booze finally get into your head, mother. Well, my blood type is O. Your father's AB. Yours is O. He found out. He's known ever since you're 11 years old. He couldn't forgive me for what I did. Same with you. I hoped one day that he would. But you're not an Aristoph. So it was you who was messing around. <laughs> Yet I'm the bad one. So you're just another whore. I just want you to learn how to live independently. And please don't tell me that. I have loved Violetta more than you. My goddamn stepdaughter more than my very own daughter. This has nothing to do with it. You can cry and complain as much as you'd like. That mommy and daddy didn't love you. But normal people don't treat their sisters as hostages. Nor hit their mothers in the face. And don't sleep with their sisters. Shut your mouth. Natalia. Please tell me I'm wrong. Natalia, 
It's not too late. You can still fix this. Do you hear me, darling? Keep your hands off me. <laughs> Have you packed your training gear? Mom, I don't want to go to training. I have a blister in my foot. Besides, why do you let Delilah do whatever she wants, but not me? Natalia, look at me. Everything that I've been doing is so you can achieve something. Delilah's got things easy. Everyone loves her already, but you still have to go the extra mile. What's this? Tell me what's this? You're making my efforts go in vain. Is this really worth your time? Answer me. Is it? It's not. I can't hear you. It's not. There's a good girl. Now you be smart and forget all of this nonsense, okay? I love you. So are we ready, Dr. Volokushin? Ready to step in? Wouldn't hurt to get a fresh perspective. Mm hmm Go on. So, what was it that you wanted to clarify? Just a couple of questions. You confirmed the death of Violeta Aristova, right? Mm, yes, the monitor showed a flat line when I came in. I checked her pulse, her reflexes, standard procedure. And you did an encephalogram as well to confirm brain death. Listen to me. Do you think that we do it every time? There are always things that would have to be prioritized with our limited resources. Here's the treatment report, medical records, and signatures of the uh, relevant physicians. I see you're well prepared. Hmm. Wouldn't want to waste your time. What about Mr. Corchin? Do you know him? Mm, yes, we've met. Uh, in fact, all of our equipment in this hospital is purchased from uh, Novomed. So yes, we've met. What else? Mm-hmm. So personally, you think that it's a medical error. Listen, uh, it's not in my position to interpret this data. Um, but it's not something that happens often. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'll be taking these. Oh, no. Uh, please take these instead. I've got notarized copies for you. So you really are prepared. Have a great day. You too. How are you? Everything all right? Put it here. Mm-hmm. One millimeter distal. Friends, I know you're tired, but pay attention. They're falling asleep.
Tampon, please. You're doing pretty well. I appreciate that, Doctor. Let's move it? Wait, let me check it. Um, let's continue. Who cares about cops? All they do with the papers. I don't like anyone looking at my papers. In fact, I don't like any of this. Mm. You're thinking of getting out? Your duty is to provide injections and pills. Something that makes someone look mentally unsound. Is it for Violetta? You prefer... Permanently, or provisional? Permanent. I had a patient that overdosed uh, Fencyclidin. He then cut off his mother's head and put it in the washing machine to clean her dirty thoughts away. <laughs> Then you should just mix in some sedatives. I don't want any violence. I want my freedom after this. I don't want to see you ever again. If you say so. Yes, Nikolai. What? Wait, they're already done? I hope so. Ah, so you fell asleep. No, don't be silly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I went out for a bit. Uh -huh. Come on. Went out, sure. Hey, Vasily, do you hear me? Naturally. How are you feeling? Damn. I guess you still have my toes, huh? Let me get this straight. So you got cold feet, and you decided not to cut my spine, and the tumor along with it. How much time do I have? A day? A couple? We removed everything along with a metastasis. Moving on, try bending your knee. Can you do it? Good. Carefully. Well, it looks good. So I'd still be able to walk? That and many more. Your tumor is gone. You will live. Yes, I hate to tell you this. Your fetus has a defect called spina bifida. Normally, the neural tube closes, forming the spinal cord and the vertebral column, but in your case, it did not. You can see the spine sticking out. We're all doctors here. We know what this is. Just tell us, what could have caused this? These things can happen to older mothers, though it may also be due to folic acid deficiency. What? It's my folic acid? Are you seriously asking me right now if I've been taking folic acid? Yes, indeed. You can also find it in whole grains in leafy vegetables. And, oh, and we must discuss its termination. Are you kidding me? You've seen the IV. It's your job to scan for defects and you missed this one? Now you're telling us you should have eaten more parsley? Calm down, sir. Of course, I can sympathize. But as doctors, you must realize that this isn't genetic. An operation abroad will be too expensive, and here, everything is meticulously scheduled in advance, not to mention the abysmal rate of success. Abortion is a humane choice. Oh, 
Alexei. Yeah, what's up? What do you need? Well, where should I begin? Um, <clears throat> well, can you spare some time to, uh, catch up? All right. There you go. Don't get inside. I have nothing more to lose. Don't break the law. He's been missing for a week. I think it's worth the risk. Thank you for your help. I've met a lot of people. I know who's capable of what. I know you. What have you been through? Mm. Looks like several days have passed. Hmm. Visiting relatives, maybe? Then why isn't he answering the phone? He didn't plan on leaving. He left everything here. They're still in place. Yeah, and the cat. He must have drank from the toilet. Nothing here. You told me he found something? Some kind of evidence? Yeah, an illegal tender. Maybe kickbacks. It's useless. Scorchion is well connected. But there's got to be something. Can you explain to me why this Violetta, the one in the video, is testifying against you? They must have used drugs. Narcotics, sedatives. <sighs> Fetisov. Fetisov. <clears throat> Melichenko met a pathologist with me, and he also pointed at a Fetisov. But I was under the impression that he had nothing else. Look, there he is again. I guess that's our lead. What's next? What are you doing? Haloperidol, phenobarbital, and... What are you doing here? You're under investigation. Get out of here. You're not authorized. I think we both know that these drugs are taken off the record. What are you administering? The maximum? You want me to call the guards? By all means. I've read about you. Right here. You know this? An investigation three years ago on dispensary shortage, and then Korchin paid the chief physician to look away. It's about Aristov Sr. How is Aristov concerned? The pathologist doubted his death, and apparently he was also paid. There's Bagnovsky and Violeta Aristova. You helped neither of them, even falsified their resuscitation file. That's nonsense. Bagnovsky died of heart failure, and then the resuscitation papers are in order, so what? I'm about to see the investigator. I suspect he'd find this particular case interesting, especially since they have Yuleta Aristova in their basement, drugged under your prescription. So why don't you tell me where she is? What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. Listen to me. Think about it. And I want you to do it carefully. Because the next time that you'll be talking about it, you'll be speaking from a jail cell. You think Corchin would let you go? 
he'll get rid of the loose end. Get out of here! There. Thank you. Detective Makhev, huh? All right, then. Nikolai. What? I'll call them. Let the police handle this issue with Dr. Fantasov. But Pavel asked us to wait. Pavel is being interrogated, and that swine is strolling around the hospital like nothing happened. Yes, it's horrible. But that girl is in danger. And that girl will be better off when they arrest him. That's why you're wrong. She wouldn't be. Because all her husband has to do is find another way to silence her. He'll fry her brain while the investigation is ongoing. When Pavel told me about Dr. Fetisavai, that's not the point. I always knew he's a slippery customer. I thought that he's just an underling, just a spy from the department. Now I learned that the man is a murderer. What a mess. Terrible. What a headache. Name? Andreev, here to see Detective Makoviev. Please leave all metallic items, including your phone and keys, here. The phone, sir? Sorry. Hello? Hey, it's Fetisov. I can't talk now. You're being interrogated? You reported me? Hey, listen, I can't talk to you right now. Please, sir, your phone. Listen, I will give up Korchin. I'm listening. I have an offer. I'll tell you everything that you need, and in return, you won't show them the file or testify against me. Understood? Don't even mention my name. Are we clear? I'll call you back. Dr. Andreev. I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry. How did you find out where Mr. Andreev was holding your wife? She contacted me, told me to get her. She must have called without him knowing. That's a lie. She didn't contact you. Look into it. Who called then? You say you were followed. How did they find out where you were? How should I know? You don't know or you can't remember? Give me something, anything that can help the investigation. The names of the accomplices. He couldn't have done it by himself. Come on, tell me something. Don't be afraid. Don't leave me hanging. When is the medical examination of Violeta Aristova? Today. Why are you asking? Her last urine test. Were there traces of barbiturates? We have the results. There's nothing out of place. They already told you all the tests are clean. That's not possible. They had her comatose through meds. Which means she had a large amount of barbiturates in her system, which takes about three weeks to flush out. Hair and nails, they last three months. So if the tests are really clear, it means that they're fake. This man's a criminal. And he almost, he almost killed his wife. And he's trying to again. Tell me, have you ever seen Mr. Korchin having an argument with his wife? He wanted to kill her. He forced her into his car with the help of his bodyguards and he threw me off a cliff. 
And what bridge is that? London Bridge? If your claim is true, you'd be dead. Is it true that six years ago you had extensive retrograde amnesia? Yes. Hallucinations? That's right. And because of that, your professional aptitude was under question, correct? Yes. After losing your wife and son, you must have been plagued by nightmares. Do you sometimes confuse fiction with reality? You're a psychiatrist? No, but the question remains. Do you? And you won't ask him anything? Sir, my wife is sick. Yet here I am listening to a lunatic. I'm untouchable, so why don't you just go to prison? As she quietly walks to the nut house. Or better yet, you should just do yourself a favor and find your own way six feet under. Don't worry about it. Just that way. You'll see your family. Oh. Go on. Go ahead and hit me. One more charge added to the list. Pavel, hmm? we're not just here for an interrogation. My child has a spina bifida. And we need any help we can get. Oh my god. Listen, they're all watching me. And I'm not even allowed to do this. They will let you go. Well, um, I doubt that. Corchin knows people, and the investigator won't even listen to me. You could get yourselves in serious trouble just for sticking out for me. I'm not going to pass the blame on you. Pavel, what do you suggest we do then? Tatiana must decide. How can I do that? Roman says that you're the only one who can do this operation. In this case, what's the point in all of this? I'll go ahead and get an abortion tomorrow then. Tatiana, that's not an option. <sighs> all right, Tatiana. There's another way. Did you hear that? There's another way to do this. He'll be a mother and I'll be a father. We're gonna save our child and get through this. Alexei, do you realize there's nothing on the Korchin case? Zero. Any good lawyer can do better. Th That's because he's a goddamn slippery bastard. That guy, Andreev, said nothing during interrogation. Can we even trust him? Then don't believe him. Don't believe Andreev. But you have to believe me. We've known each other for a long time. If you're not going to trust anyone, then be my guest. Yeah, it's me. Listen, run the test for Aristova's case again. Better make it fast. Medical exam scheduled today. Yes, why? Something's about to happen. And when it finally does, you better be nearby. Could you tell me something about you? <laughs> what do you want to know? Something different. Different? I want to know something about you that she doesn't. You're aggressive. 
She doesn't know much about me. But you can see right through me. And that scares me a little. Oh well, cards on the table now. My mother is a whore and I'm not an artist of. Are you disappointed? How is that your fault? I feel closer to you now. We're one in the same. It's no longer matters who's wronged us. We both have come this far. We are here now. And where are they? Can I give it a try? <laughs> it's a six. Cut us off. How's it going? Got some news? Yes, Kennedy. Were you able to get it? Yes, I've gotten what you need. And I think that's everything. Hello, you there? Great, I'll be waiting for you here. This is the last time Andreev said anything. Don't worry too much. Your name was hardly ever mentioned. Are you sure? Andreev was too worried that he would hurt his colleagues, so he didn't say anything much. All right, fine then. Korchin wants me to give her neuroleptics. You know as well as I do the effect they have on the brain, especially after a coma. I don't have the intention of hurting anyone. I have never wanted to hurt anyone, you know that. Who are you kidding? You're only trying to save yourself. So what? So what if it is true? Is there a difference? Not a prosecutor. I can't give you immunity. I would like to believe that you will stay true to your word. And destroy everything you've dug up on me, all copies. And in return... You'll give her a placebo, saline solution, and then you need to insist on administering the injection yourself. Korshin will then take you to her, where you'll give her the injection. However, you need to find a way to warn her that you should not give yourselves away. We have to do this secretly. She can then tell the truth during the examination. If you screw this up, he may kill you and her both. Please come in. Hello there. I thought we were doing this together with Vyacheslav. Yes, we are, sure. So, are we doing this? Sure, just a moment. We need to hurry if you want it to take effect before the exam. Natalia, could you come here, please? Andreev is here. Everyone will be here soon for the exam. If he stays here longer, he could pose a terribly huge problem. He shouldn't be anywhere at all. How's he still alive? <laughs> I don't know. Don't worry, I will deal with that later on. No way. I can take care of that myself. Are we doing it? Did you see that? Now that is some woman. Follow me. Pavel. Yes, Natalia. Thank God it's you. I know where she is. He rented a container outside of town. He and a doctor from your hospital are on their way there. We need to get there first. Get in.
Is she here? Have you heard of the saying, keep your friends close and your enemies in the basement? <laughs> well, just don't stand there. So you're saying that for this whole time she was just here? There's her patient. How are you feeling today, huh, Violetta? Help me get out. He's keeping me here by force. I'm begging you, please help Hush, me. Please calm down. I'm going to help you. You'll be fine. You have about an hour until they come in to examine her. Her hands need to be untied. We need to take her blood pressure first. No, 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 don't touch me. Be still. Don't touch me. Don't Just touch me. Be still. Don't touch me. Please. Calm down. No, no. Just sit still. No. So no, is no, it help no, me or don't touch me? me. Make up no. your mind. Make up your mind, dear. No. <laughs> I'm begging you to calm down. Calm down or it's just going to hurt you. I'm begging you to calm down. This is going to hurt you. Don't calm down. Lie down, will you? Lie down. Lie down. Can you do it faster? Aren't you going to clean that? I'll clean it later. Seriously? You want to leave a broken glass near a suicidal woman on neuroleptic? Inject her already! <laughs> Done. an eye on her. What do you think I'm doing? Listen, her pulse is a little fast. That's okay. Help me! Help me hold her head up! Hold it! Hold it higher! You! What did you do? What did you expect? You can just bump a person full of crap! Did you think that would fix everything? Easy. It's over. You happy now? Is this what you wanted? What kind of container? A shipping container. It's in a warehouse, just a few kilometers. How'd you find out? I looked into his computer. Hmm. Okay, I'm calling the police. No, I'll call them myself. We'll be there before they arrive, plus I don't want to wait. How far did you say it was? A few kilometers and we get off the road. What do you mean? There is no container here. Violetta is in your basement. Fetus have sold us that. Give me my phone! Give it to me! Hovell! Let go of me! <laughs> <laughs> Open the door, you goddamn bastard! You open this right now! Do you hear me?
right. We're here. Let's go to the living room. I'm just going to help Violetta to get ready. <sighs> Quiet. Now you sit down. Yes, very good. <sighs> oh, look at that. You look beautiful. Do you like that shirt? It has a nice color. Otherwise, the doctors might say I don't take good care of you. You'll behave right now, won't you? For the sake of your little sister. She's very cute. And dangerous. Quite dangerous. She's not even your real sister. You don't even have the same father. <laughs> but you probably don't care about that. <laughs> Make sure to keep your head straight. What now? No, 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 no. So, are you done with that? All right, this is it. Your time to shine. Come on, pick up the phone. Yes. You need to get out of there. Just drop everything and leave. Pedestal ratted you out. This is all probably a setup. Do you hear what I'm trying to say to you? Mm -hmm. Andrea didn't fall for it. And he's on his way back. Hey, can you hear me? Please get out of there. If you do something to her, we will not be able to get away with it. We'll figure it out. I understand. Thank you very much. How long until we see the results? For barbiturates, um, about two hours. Screaming. Darn it. Shoot. Shut up. Who's that? He's getting away. Get in the car right now.
to stay here. You stay where you are. Stay away from the body, all right? Are you okay? What's that? You all right? I'm okay. Are you sure? Are you trying to check if I'm insane, mister? Please, don't look. Don't go any further. He's responsible for your family's death. You can't go in there. Do you realize what you've done? That man is currently under investigation. Why would you allow him to operate? Andre Evers, the best surgeon here. If anything happens to Mr. Korchin, you will be held responsible. That clear? Listen to me. If you're so worried about him, you can go to the observation room. You can monitor his progress during operation from there. This way. Colleagues, let's proceed with the extraction. Commencing. You can observe them from here, since you're so worried. The bone flap. What are they doing? They removed a part of his skull to gain access to the lesions around his brain. And you? You'll have to answer my questions later on. So that's Violetta? Yes. Proceeding with the extraction of the foreign object, napkin. Evgeny, please assist. Pliers. Okay. There. Good. Be careful. All right. Coagulate. Change of gloves, please. Coagulator. Stopping the bleeding from the small vessels in the dura matter. Commencing operation. Proceeding to remove the necrotic tissue. That's incredible. What is? People don't usually survive trauma like this, but it looks like he's going to make it. Dr. Pavel Andreev. I'm a little busy right now, Irina. 
According to the scan, C. Show severe damage to the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. Yes, of course. That means that the patient's inhibitory functions are lost. That's all. You see, damaging the area hampers one's ability for imagination. Dr. Andreev, he's completely incapable of flying right now. Anna, wake him up. What for? I need him conscious right now. His motor and speech center may have been compromised. Sure, in theory it may have been compromised, but he was conscious before we used anesthetics. And we didn't administer muscle relaxants. Anna. <sighs> he might die from the shock. He has no swelling or hematomas. Anna, just leave the amidal so he doesn't twitch. And the antiemetic. Amital? Isn't that a truth serum? We are not in a spy film, you know. In neurosurgery, amital, or rather amobarbital, is a common drug used as a sedative. So why will they wake him up? Won't he die from shock? He'll be fine, he's on painkillers. And the brain, as you know, doesn't feel any pain. So Andreev isn't hurting him? No, of course not. Removing the tubes to free his mouth. Yeah, just love. Are you with us? Yes. So you understand what I'm saying? Hold on. Andreev, right? His long-term memory and voice recognition are both fine. What happened to me? You were hit by a bus, remember? A bus? <laughs> No. We're operating on you right now. It's important that you remain conscious while we do. Can you tell me what year and month it is? Are you going to kill me? I'm a doctor. Now tell me the date, please. I would have killed you. But you're a doctor, so you can't kill me. I would. Just answer my question. Please take a look at my hand. What's next? Tell me what's next. The fourth one. Which finger is that? The ring finger, now enough. Keep talking then, we need to hear you speak. Go on, tell us what you're thinking. Anything on your mind. At first I thought of just eliminating you immediately. Too principal for my taste stood in my way. But then I had a better idea. I'll just get rid of your family instead. It was complicated, sure. But also more fitting. Evgeny. Help. We put a tracker on your car. Komarov was always on your tail. The hitman? The accident down to the moment it all happened, it was him. But then Melnichenko started digging around for us, so we had to get rid of that old man before he got too close. Are you sure he's okay? Is this because of all the drugs? No, it's the... the damaged part of his brain that controls the ability to lie. He's literally unable to lie right now. So what he's saying is true? Of course. 
Why them? It's simple. You're just too good a surgeon. You were just too good. So then I thought it might be useful to me. <laughs> I was right. I was right all along. I knew I had to break it first. To crush your will utterly and completely. And then I did. Well, did I break you? Answer me, Andreev. Did I break your spirit? <laughs> Yeah, hello, it's Makovayev. Send me I two guards to the neurosurgery center. Things are getting interesting here. At All least right. they didn't suffer much in the end. Nikolai! But that bastard, Milnichenko. That man never knew when to let things go despite all the danger it brought. When digging and digging. He just kept at it relentlessly, but at least now he can relax in the retirement I forced on him. In that unmarked grave of his. I know. In hindsight, we should have done things differently. I should have gone to Fetisov instead. He should have given me some poison for the job. Just like he always has. Just like without his stuff. No one find out, even though he... He was completely healthy. It was easy. Nobody found out. Pavel, you have to leave. You can't be here. Come on. Come on, get up. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Everyone get out of here. Dr. Semyonov, don't do this. Are you doing it or should I? Dr. Semyonov. All right, I will. What's going on? It's a routine procedure. Pavel, that is not a human being that scum has no right to live. You heard what he said. I did. He has no right to continue breathing air. He has to die right now. I know. Pavel, please get out of here. I'll take care of him myself. <sighs> Pavel, I'm begging you, please let me do this. No, I can't. I won't let you do it. I won't. You will regret doing this. We're not like him. Do you hear me? We are. We're better than he is. He's finished. He just confessed, in front of witnesses, no less. It's over. Think of Irina. Just think about her. Or Marina. Or Valerica. What would they think if you did this? That we killed him while they watched from beyond? You know that there's no such thing. We're doctors. But there is. I know there is. I do. I do. Listen to me, detective. Please listen to me. You can't go in. The room, it's sterile. Then explain to me what's going on in there. They're disinfecting. Then why is it just the two of them? They're conducting sanitary measures. Do you think he was telling the truth? Well, he confessed to committing crimes and no one was coercing then him. Then could they have deluded him into saying all those things. Absolutely not. You saw everything yourself. <sighs> Detective, our brains find it much easier and more pleasant to tell the truth. The truth just craves to be told. When a person is trying to tell a lie, they first have to suppress this urge to tell the truth every time. And the part of the brain that's responsible for that is around here. Then they invent an alternate reality and lie. These functions are controlled by the left hemisphere of the brain, which is the area that was damaged. Natalia! Don't touch me, I can't stand inside of you. Well, the feeling is mutual. Do you have any idea what you have done? You've destroyed yourself and ruined my life! How am I supposed to leave now? Without a care in the world as usual. Natalia! Lying. Lying is a complex, creative process. A brain with a recent injury can't handle it. And for that reason, 
For the first time in his life, Gorjin couldn't tell a lie. He was telling the truth. He had no choice. It was the truth. Fine, just leave then. I don't want to see you anymore after this. Hello? Yes, I'm listening. No. I, I haven't seen her since this morning. I, I don't know, she's not home. She's not answering her phone either. I, yes, of course, I'll be here at my home waiting. All right. That was the police. You have to go right now. How is he? Did they say anything? In intensive care. Which hospital? You should be more worried about your stuff right now. Natalia! Natalia! Please, my daughter, just go and save yourself. I'm begging you. Don't worry, Irina. I didn't do anything to him. Come on, widen the search. Nothing here. You found something. Over here. It's here, just like she said. Hang on, where's Andrea? Room six. Francis, you're already on the way. All right, I'll call you back later. Dr. Andreev, you've been cleared of all charges. Um, Natalia, did they find her? Uh, no, but they found Melnichenko. His body was in the woods. Now listen, there's a federal warrant for your sister and for Fetisov. We have to arrest them. Where can we transfer Korchin? The prison hospital? It'll take some time for us to arrange it. He'll have problems with his coordination, decision-making and analytical skills. He might even develop post-traumatic epilepsy. Um, uh, will he be fine mentally? I hope so. He'll be able to stand trial. I'll take a look. Just don't touch anything. I'm so tired. I'm going. worried about you. <laughs> Me too, Mom. Mom, I don't know how to go on. We'll think of something, I'm sure. But you have to forgive her. I'm begging you. She's your sister. You have to help. You are the only one who can save her now. She's far past saving.
Right. Tatiana called earlier. They've examined her already, and the case conference is scheduled for tomorrow. That's good. I'll go check on her tomorrow, then. I'll, uh, get some water going. Well, what are you going to do next? I want you to always remember, you have me, and Irina, and I, I love you, Pavel. So there. Anyway, I, I have decided. Sometime before next week, I'll be announcing my resignation. Dr. Semyonov. No, Pavel. I'm serious this time. Today at our very hospital, the murderer of your sweet boy, my grandchild, and your wife was at our mercy. He was laying there helplessly. For some reason, I thought I had the right and reason to, but we're both doctors, you and I. I've taught you always to keep your mind calm and clear. To leave everything else outside of the operating room. To carry on your duty as a doctor. That anyone, even criminals, once there, was worthy of our help. We swore an oath to care for everyone after all. We have to follow what we stand for. After all, it's the law. The law. A fact. But not me. Thank you for stopping me. But after that... I no longer have any right to stay there. Moreover... It's only right that I leave. I wanted to kill him too. I still do. I know that. Right, I wanted to tell you. Cronin the counselor. He offered me a work trip for a year, but he hasn't told me exactly where yet. But likely with UNICEF. If that's the case then, I have a proposition for you. I want you to take my place as my next successor. This is a serious offer. Only you can continue my whole life's work. Besides, there are people here that care for you. At least consider it. It's not like I have anything to lose by doing so. Come on in! Our dinner is ready! A woman, 38 years old. She's currently 20 weeks pregnant. But she is not the focus of this panel. The baby she's carrying is a neural tube defect. Doctor, if you would. My obstetrician team will begin the procedure. We will dissect the peritoneum and remove the uterus, then staple the wall and then her bladder. After that, we dissect the uterus and heat seal the vessels. We then replace the spilled liquid with ringer solution and prepare for the next phase. I hold the position of the fetus at the incision on the uterus to make way for Dr. Andreev's work. I then dissect the membranes and release the excess fluid. Then I set the spinal cord in its place. The hernia is quite large, so we may require a piece of artificial epidermis. Once that's done, then our job would have been completed. Any chance we can convince the patient to change her mind? You know, this is insane. <laughs> well, that's certainly out for debate, isn't it? And no, she won't change her mind. Any questions? Has anyone in this room ever done this kind of operation? No one in here has. But I promise you, we will succeed. Careful. You were the one who talked me into this. I promise everything will be fine. I love you, Roman. I love you too.
The highly complex and morally ambiguous operation on the spine of an unborn child is making waves in the medical community. We will begin by making a transverse incision two inches above the pupil. Scalpel. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Moving to the uterus. Making the incision now. Electrosurgical knife, please. The most important aspect here is to avoid the placenta. This is a very important case. This is a very case. Beginning the extraction. I see the thoracic spine. A little lower, please. More. Slowly now. Good. A little to the left. There it is, the spina bifida. Let's go. They really know the human body, don't they? Mm-hmm. Dura, forceps and scissors. Shape. Curved. It's such a small thing. Yeah. It really is. Smaller than a kitten. Beginning the resection of the spina bifida. from them no nothing yet did you see that dr. Andreev the spinal cord settled on its own I did a miracle just happened it's the first time I saw something like that like it knew what was best for it to heal and we're we're here to witness all right then Let's start closing up the membranes. Do we still need the artificial skin? No. This boy decided not to complicate our lives. Shall we wake up our sleeping beauty? Yes, go ahead. Conducting follow-up ultrasound. Hello. Tatiana, please look at me. Mm-hmm. Everything good? So... How did it go? Everything's fine. Everything went smoothly. His spinal roots have also settled into the place with minimal issue. Motor function is normal. No clear indications of hypoxia. 
Why don't we have a look at his face? I don't get what he's doing. Oh, <laughs> he's sucking on one of his fingers. <laughs> This highly complex and morally ambiguous operation was conducted recently by a brilliant neurosurgeon named Dr. Pavel Andriev. Two teams of doctors, three hours in the operating room in a surgical operation on the spine of an unborn baby. Such is the price one Tatiana Legler had to pay in order to become a mother. Fetal surgery in our country has a long way to go, but this recent success opens up new opportunities, new lives and hope for children whose births were simply impossible before today. The recent actions of my husband and sister are inexcusable. We've lost significantly in the wake of these decisions. At present, the return rate of our equipment stands at 70%. I take it we have not received new contracts since. The fraudulent Chinese equipment isn't something we can live down easily. But the 3D navigation was something that we have developed ourselves, so I propose that we endeavor to put the technology into production. Uh, and the media? We can use it to our advantage to promote brand awareness. Then we'll turn it to our favor so when people start to hear our name, they'll think that Novomed stands at the forefront of research and development. Mm. What about the dividends? Accounted for. We're not bankrupt, and I will use my shares to cover the company's losses for recovery, so as to increase the liquidity of the shares and returns on your investments. Wait, Miss Aristova. We're done for today. I have something to attend to. Oh, Pavel. I've heard about the good news. Which is? That you decided to stay here. Well, with Fedosov gone, we might as well just continue working together. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Saying his goodbyes already? Take care of her. Well, Pavel, have you decided? <sighs> My friends, these past few months haven't been easy. And once again, I've seen how people come out to help in the face of adversity. It has been an honor to have worked with you all. And quite frankly, I am deeply in your debt. I thank everyone here from the bottom of my heart. I thank you. I thank Dr. Semino for bringing us all together and not letting us go. He is the best of us. I also wanted to take this occasion to let you all know that I will be leaving for a year or so soon. I hope you all understand. Dr. Semyonov, I'm done. So we have a choice. We'll be waiting. Once you're back, I will once again offer you my position as chief physician, at which point you'll have no choice but to accept it by default, my old friend. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Ha <laughs> ha! 
Tachycardia, shallow breathing, pulse is 115, temperature is 42.4. He can't be faking something like that. Right, analgin, dimadrol, papaverin at max dosage. His muscles are stiff. It's muscular stiffness. Put him in an IV. Right. Is Anna still here? I think she is. Prep the magnesium in ice. I'm on it. We don't have dantrolene. This is malignant hypothermia. Are you sure? Could it be diencephalic catabolic syndrome? And a reaction to brain damage. Exactly. I'm telling you, this is hypothermia. I've seen this before. What are the chances that he has a rare reaction to the anesthetics that we use? One in a hundred million. It's more common in children, but he's an adult. Maybe it was Andrea that did this. No offense, I mean. No, this is hereditary. A genetic mutation. The anesthetic triggered a continuous muscle contraction. It is converted to heat and it's gonna kill him soon. I swear. This just serves him right. What, am I wrong? <laughs> well, there it is. The gas analysis. Excess carbon dioxide. Um, that's hyperthermia, all right. And we don't have dantrolene. That's the only thing that can save him. And uh, you know perfectly well that dantrolene isn't approved in Russia. And as physicians, we don't have any right to be looking for and it. And yet they have it over at St. Petersburg. It's expensive and it's rare, but it is there. I'll print out a list of hospitals that might have it in stock. What list? What are you even talking about? This man is responsible for killing Andreev's family. So what now? Are we just going to do nothing about this? I'm good with that. Well, we have two options. Either we break the law and save this bastard, or we play by the rules and he'll be dead in no time. What's it gonna be? We have to do something. Right. Only in this case, they'll pin all the blame on Andreev. They'll say that he did something to Korchin during the operation. Mm. That's correct. And we can confirm my diagnosis with halothane caffeine test if he's already dead. He has to be alive. <laughs> Do we have any idea what we are risking if we inject that man with this drug? If we find it. What? Conspiracy to commit unregistered drug trafficking will get us five to eight years of jail time at least, assuming we get lucky. Are you kidding me? So what? We're just going to do nothing? Ah, screw the odds then. Fine, we'll get him this drug. Go ahead and start preparing. Hello, Victor, my friend. I'm looking for dantrolene. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I need it urgently. They told me to contact you since you know how to get it. Dantrolene. 41.5. I'll inject some aminazine in him. 4 to 1.3 and we'll freeze his legs off. Better his legs than his brain. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I need your help. Yes, yes, thanks, Mom. I found it. It's already on the way. How is he? All right, it looks like we made it. Unfortunately, the medication arrived too late. Overheating caused irreversible damage to his brain already. Dysfunction of both hemispheres. Diencephalic and brainstem activity remains intact, but otherwise is in a vegetative state. There's no chance he'll make a recovery after all the damage. In other words, he's a vegetable. We took samples for the halothane caffeine test, and I'm positive it'll confirm that it's malignant hyperthermia. So there's nothing for you to worry about. Thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for risking everything. 
your careers, your freedom, to try to save a man like him. You acted as physicians should have. Because if you didn't, I would have been disappointed. Dr. Andreev, will you inform his wife? Yes. We are just love. Darling, it's me. I came to get you. Please get up now. Come on. We are just love. My love. Wake up. Wake up. State. What the hell is this? That's just love. My love, please. Come on. Please just squeeze my hand. I said squeeze my hand. Is he dead? Worse. He slipped into a vegetative state. He's just a shell of a person now. He has a rare hereditary disease. I don't even want to know. I don't know, Pavel. I don't know what's next. You had a family, and so did I, but now... There's nobody left. In a day or two, you'll realize that it's too soon for us. We will only torment each other for nothing. Wrong. 
It's better that we don't start this, right? Right. We can go. Don't worry, Violetta. Everything is all right. Who are you? So am I pretty? You know what you look like. Stop or I'll shoot her! Let her go. I'm almost done. I'll be dead soon, but you're safe. What? The whole car is loaded with her things. There was just stuffed in there like a big pile of rags. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot your book. What about me, hmm? All of this is your fault. You killed him. All of you. I did everything to save him. But you're lying. I saw him myself. He was gone. A shell of his former self. And in the end, he died in my arms. The only man who saw me who knew the real me. But you're just like us, aren't you? Just another murderer. You bastard. The only difference is that you think you'll get away with it because you're a doctor. But I can fix that. 